security alert for iPhone users. A new report shows a simple way thieves could be trying to steal your device. And the winter storm cleanup is still underway just as more wet weather is moving across Southern California this week. Hello everyone, welcome to The Rundown. I'm Robin Winston. That storm, that strong winter storm creating damage all across Southern California. A family in La Cañada Flint Ridge had to evacuate after a massive mudslide crashed right into their home. We caught a glimpse of the damage both from the air and on the ground. Neighbors helped the family pack up their things and evacuate. The fire department had crews there around the clock this weekend just in case the hillside moved again. They say they'll be ready to evacuate more homes if it becomes a threat. Well, here's some more damage out of Pasadena. Take a look. The fire department posting this one after mud and debris flow just busted through a detached garage. This is right along Linda Vista Avenue. No one was hurt. Meanwhile, work will be underway for several days to restore power in some places. Several neighborhoods have been in the dark since Friday. At the peak of the storm, 170,000 customers lost power. LADWP officials say the outages caused by downed trees pose even greater challenges because crews are dealing with split power poles and debris. Well, the recent storm dropped several feet of snow in the mountains, and it could be days before it's cleared out because a new storm is bringing even more snow. Geez, that's a day's work, right? It's been tough, tough work in Lake Arrowhead where residents spent the day digging out. The photographer who shot this video says it took him and his family 10 hours to shovel out just one of their cars. The other one remains buried in the snow. Snow plows are working long shifts to get the road back open. And even though cleanup from the last storm is still underway, we're already on to the next one. Yes, there's more on the way. Meteorologist Belen De Leon has details in your first alert forecast. Hi, Robin. We just got rid of one storm. Now we're tracking another one. This one will be affecting us through Wednesday and it's not going to be as strong as this past one. Rain accumulations from half an inch to an inch expected for the coasts and valleys, the foothills and mountains a little bit more, and that rain will be on and off all the way through Wednesday. In the mountains, the snow levels will get down to about 3,000 feet on Tuesday and Wednesday, so we could see some more snow in the high desert, but above 5,000 feet, 10 to 18 inches, maybe even more. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, watch out for those gusts winds ranging anywhere between 35 to 55 miles per hour with our very saturated soils. We could see more uprooted trees and of course that will cause some difficult travel weather. Winter weather has a tight grip on us. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s through the middle of the week. Look at the trend in Riverside, but the forecast does look a touch warmer and drier towards the end of the week when the temperatures rise into the 60s. California's COVID emergency declaration expires this week. It represents a shift in the way state and local officials will approach the pandemic. COVID is still affecting thousands of people daily in California, but we avoided a major winter surge. President Biden plans to end the nation's COVID public health emergency on May 11th. So what does all this mean? We'll transition from the government distributing vaccines and treatments to those things being handled by the regular healthcare system. But the White House says even after the national emergency ends on May 11th, you'll still be able to get a free booster on May 12th. Meanwhile, millions of Americans will lose a temporary boost in federal food assistance. The extra $95 in CalFresh food benefits will also end. We're also learning more about the medical evacuation plane that crashed near Stagecoach, Nevada. Federal investigators now say it appears the plane broke apart just minutes after takeoff. All five people on board were killed when the plane crashed Friday night, including the pilot, the flight's nurse, paramedic, along with a patient and a family member. The NTSB says the plane was in the air for about 14 minutes. It had reached an altitude of just over 19,000 feet when radar noticed the plane was in a descending right turn at a high rate of speed. Uh, the radar track and all of the radio communications with air traffic control were absolutely normal. There was no distress call uh, at any point uh, from the aircraft uh, saying they had any kind of difficulty whatsoever. Investigators are also looking into whether icy wintry weather was a factor. This is the third deadly crash in just four years for Guardian Flight, which operated the medical services plane. A warning for iPhone users, thieves are using a simple method to steal your device and access everything inside. They spy on victims to learn the passcode and then steal the phone. 
Well, according to the Wall Street Journal, thieves are going to bars and public places to sneak a peek at people's screens as they unlock their phones with the numeric passcode. After the phone is stolen, the victim's Apple ID password can be reset and the Find My Phone feature can be turned off. Apple recommends people use the Face ID or Touch ID security features instead of a passcode. You can now buy your ticket for this year's OC Fair. The fair doesn't actually start until July 14th, but if you're interested in going, you'll need to get those tickets in advance. Daily admission will be restricted to 45,000 people per day. This year's theme is Happy Together. I love the OC Fair, and I'm always happy about the fair food because it's so unique and so delicious. The fair runs through August 13th. Big Bear's most famous feathered residents are weathering the recent winter storm. The two bald eagles, Jackie and Shadow, have been taking turns protecting their two eggs. You can see Jackie hunkered down in the snow right there as she waits for her partner, Shadow, to relieve her. People have been waiting to see when the two eggs might hatch, and they're curious to see how the bald eagle parents are handling the stormy weather. Well, it turns out they're pretty well equipped for the cold. The nonprofit that runs the camera, Friends of Big Bear Valley, says they had 15,000 people watching their stream at one point last week. That's the most the group has ever seen. It's like a really cool reality show. <laughs> There's no doubt the recent storm has created some incredible views and some photographers just can't wait to grab their cameras once the clouds cleared out. So a group of them braved the cold at Kenneth Hahn State Park for the perfect picture of snow-capped mountains behind downtown LA. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous to see the snow. Honestly, it took my breath away. I've never seen it like this before. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Well, I was actually driving my buddy to the airport and on the way I saw it, and I knew I had to come check it out. This is my favorite photo <laughs> spot. This is the Kodak spot. This is sort of the money shot here because you've got palm trees and the city and uh, th this is where everybody comes and uh, I mean you can't go wrong it's just nice to be out you know I grew up in Canada so I've seen stuff like this uh, growing up but to see it in California is it's pretty special and it's uh, absolutely beautiful up here this morning yeah. I've lived here for 40 years I've never seen it like this my, oh my, what a beautiful sight. Can we say picture perfect? The photographers we spoke with said they had to wait a while for that perfect shot, but overall, there weren't any bad shots. And finally, this video will definitely put a smile on your face. A World War II veteran in Fontana is proving snow can make anyone happy, no matter the age. The city had a pretty big snow day on Saturday, and an NBC4 viewer sent us this video of her uncle Libby getting very excited about this ball of snow. Well, he's 94 years old and the last time he saw snow was back in 1947. Well, I agree, it's definitely a beautiful sight. Just looking at him makes me smile. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays, 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with the traffic reports throughout your morning commute. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.